So I finished this book and I got all my um, metal goods out. So I have jump rings. I have buttons we can use. I have index clips. What? Let's see. I like index clips because sometimes, like these index clips, you can stick things to. Oh, I should get bulldog, bulldog clips. So we might not have to um, to do as much. Small clothes pins. Do we need those? Oh, those are just kind of cute and little. I don't know if they're for a journal. We have jingle bells. Those are from Michaels, it looks like. We have Tim Holtz, they, they call these flares. They look like buttons, but they aren't. They're just um, the fronts of buttons. I didn't know if I could fit a Christmas tree in. If so, I might. Not 100% sure of that one. Oh, we've got some really cute tape that we can use around, maybe add in. These are like little um, yellow gems. I got them on clearance, so we'll put those on. I got, uh, I believe this is fabric tape. This is gonna be amazing for our front. I'm gonna use this on the front. Wonder, Joy, Merry Christmas, Believe. So this is called Label Tape Christmas. And then I do have Christmas Velvet Trims. So we are gonna do some fun stuff with this. So let's start with this. And what I'm gonna do with this is I am going to make a Sandy Claus family, okay? So having done this kind of thing before, I have learned that I definitely do not want to just draw a Santa Claus or a snowman family. On here, I want to Make a dad size body. Make a dad size middle. Make a dad size top. So that's going to be the front. He's going to be my snowman snowman. Okay. And then I want a mama snowman. So make a mama bottom. I make the mama middle. I make the mama top. Oh, that's not very square. And then we're gonna make a baby snowman like my little Emmy granddaughter. So here we go, a little baby bottom. Baby middle. And baby top. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to cut these into circles. Ish. Because think about it. If you're getting yourself all twisted up that your um, snowman circles are not round, have you thought about how snowman circles are made? out of snow none of them are round just none of them are round now i might might make that head a little bit smaller if i feel like it's too big a melon for her body but we can we can check that out in just one minute yeah i had thought maybe they seemed very similar in size like this i may have to make the head just a tiny bit smaller, not too much, but just a little bit. Oh, that's better. And this is her body. So I don't know if you've ever made a snowman. I did grow up in Pennsylvania. It has been many years since I made a snowman, but I know that base can't, you're thinking that all the, the shapes are round but the base on the bottom has to be more of an oval or your snowman will fall down. Okay, I'm gonna cut these other two and I will be right back. Okay, 
so now let's, oh, I think my good glue's here. I got an order of Nouveau glue in. I'm so excited. All right, so we're going to put, make paper dolls out of our, meaning just put them together. Oops. It's a very slippery paper. This is a uh, Caslon. Hansen Mixed Media Extra Large Multimedia. So I used, in one of my projects, I used um, acrylic paper because I'd really, in my career, only up to that, up to that point ever used uh, mixed media paper. And I was shocked by how much I hate not mixed media paper. So from now on, I am just using mixed media paper so that I never have that horrible experience again. It was terrible. Okay. So, here's the mommy and the baby. And we're going to talk about two composition things. Okay? So, when you're composing with a snowman or a face or anything like that, you make sure you're oval goes sideways on your um, snowman because he's a little bit heavier on the bottom than the top. Don't be judgy. Some of us are. Okay. So, but when you're doing composition on any kind of figure, so anything with, let's say a nose, right? So if it, it's a dog with a nose or person with a nose or snowmen with noses um, or snow people, however you identify as a snowman, um, you want them pointing inward, okay? So we're going to have this snowman, because otherwise, if you have the um, person or the snowman or the dog pointing off, you know, looking off your page, so like if we did it this way and he's looking, well, if we did it this way and they're looking out, then all of a sudden they're not... Um, it, it feels like they're not looking at your work. Does that make sense? I think it does. I'm going with that. We're going to do everything over top of our snowman. Because this is just a fun little book, okay? And that's one of the things. If you want to see me doing it or you want to see the full flip through of the inside... Um, the nice thing was I took a class from Diane Reevely about Christmas, this little Christmas dialogue, and I don't know how many pages the dialogues have, but it was not a nightmare to try to do this little, um, book. Now, it was a lot of work. I had to do, like, I didn't think I was going to get this done, let alone do this kind of fun outside, but that having been said, it was not hard work. Um, it was kind of fun. All right. So we have Believe 25 Wishes. This is cute. Uh-oh, it's fallen off its thing. Does it say one deer? Oh, it says wonder. <laughs> Duh. Of course it doesn't say one deer. Why would it say one deer? Don't be silly. All right, we're going to put... Okay, I don't want just a random R hanging out. So that has to go. And it's a little bit sticky on the back. I don't know whether it's going to be sticky enough to keep itself stuck. But I'm okay with it. Okay. Um, oh, it has two things. Two layers so that the... The another layer doesn't get stuck on the first layer. So we're going to put this one up here. Just where you can see. So I have it. Um, what's, what is going on? It's kind of. Oh, it's kind of. Oh, that was the gluey start. Okay. No bother. If it's, if there's something wrong, we'll just stick something over top of that. Right. I am going to be drawing hats and noses and all that crap on here. You're not going to be here for that because that's too much effort. All right, so for this one, we're going to start this. We got we need jump rings to hook things on, and we need grommets. Where's my grommet holder? 
There's my grommet holder, so we need grommets. Maybe we'll use some buttons. We'll get that out of here for this minute, though. I don't know that I'm going to use trees. All right. And we need our crocodile to put our grommets in. And then I'll have to find things to hang from here, right? I have lots of cute stuff that we can make. Okay, oh, it's gonna be a pain. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, I think we just start putting grommets in our things. So let's see what color grommets we have. Oh, I have orange and I have a couple of orange pages. I think we have a couple pink pages. Um, oh gosh, those little tiny grommets are worthless. These uh, brass ones are never out of place. There's a copper one. It's very small though. We could do a, ooh, that's a pink one. All right, let's get some of these out. We'll get started and we'll see what comes up. All right. Oh, those tiny ones. I don't even have a machine that can do them. They're just, a, they're a menace. Okay, let's go with the orange one. Front of book. So we want the front of this to be here. So the first thing we have to do is we have to punch a hole in this, in this, tab like this right and then we want to make sure and i do mine upside down so i have to get to the back of the tab we have to make sure we do that and now there's a, a grommet in there all right, I'll do one more with you, but then I can't do them all with you because it would take too long to show you. So on this Diane Reevely one, we're gonna go in, we're gonna make sure our grommet hole is in the right place and you can kind of look down in there and see it. Little stuckies, okay. And then I have to turn it over upside down and punch it this way. I gotta get it on the right place. Boop. It's a little kerfuffly to do this in a book, but we, we're smart and pretty. We can do this. Oh, you know what I might do on this one? Cause this one's really weird. So first off, I'm glad this is having trouble cause then I can show you how to avoid trouble. So this is a little bit smaller one. I want this to face the front of the book. I want it to be pretty on the front of the book. So instead of trying to hook it onto my crocodile tool, I can just hook it onto there, right? And then hook my crocodile tool in here and that takes two seconds. So you can do it either way, it doesn't matter. But that will give us a whole, I don't feel like this one's super sturdy. That's just super light paper. The ones on my paper will hold something really good. But I'm going to do those and I will be back. Okay, so now let's think about some things we could put on our tabs to zhuzh them up. Uh-oh. I have cute little containers that I'll put these in as soon as I get done. Darn it. But we have like this gold bedazzled thing. I almost feel like if I put one on there, I want two. What about here? Okay. We have these flares and I want a Christmas one. All right, you guys get out of there. Oh, look, there's a Santa Claus one. And I have a Santa Claus page. Okay, here we go. So look, we have the Santa Claus page and there's a baby Santa Claus. So we're gonna put that on there. 
And you just use your glue. You could use your um, Tim Holtz collage medium. That might work better than this. We may have to come back to it um, and redo it. Glossy accents, I think, would work on it. But glossy accents would take forever, forever to dry. Okay, so let's put this on here. Give it a hot second to dry on my Santa page. I almost want it to be. We are going to use Distress Collage Medium for this one. Two reasons for this. Number one, it's made to hold metal, which is what this is. And it also has a really quick dry time. Is it coming out? Yep, it's coming out. Um... Tim Holtz appears to be not quite as patient a man when it comes to dry time on his stuff. Okay, while we're here, let's do this. We're going to do one, and then we're going to see if we want to do another one. So that'll be fun. And I don't know if you can hear, Johnny is sanding in the garage. And he's super sweet because he said, is it going to bother them if I sand? And I said, well, we can't have that as a consideration. Because if my family going about their life bothers you guys, um, it's their house, right? And so I just told him, no, we're fine. We're perfectly fine. Okay, so that's sort of stuck. See, his his glue dries very fast. So I have something else I want to do while we're kind of waiting for those guys to dry. Um, I want to use this fabric tape on here to kind of make a faux spine, as it were. Ooh, is this this isn't this isn't glued okay do 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 so let's do this got our distress collage medium out let's go ahead and glue our tape I want this to look cute and fun this is my my book and I was thinking, oh, I should make a cover for it, like a traveler's notebook cover for it. But that's a little bit ridiculous. Maybe next year, if we take Diane's class again, she'll give us a class on how to make the covers. I have made my own covers. They have a blank cover, which I think is really cool. And I, no offense, Diane, I love my cover way more than I love hers. Although she just did a cut. This is so nice. She just did a pride cover to support her daughter who's gay, who got married this year. And you guys know my dad's gay. Grandpa Jim and Papa Mac. I have two grandpa, you know, my, my, um, my Emmy has two great grandpas, Grandpa Jim and Papa Mac. And they have been together as long as Johnny and I. So 22 years, and Johnny and I were able to get married, and they weren't able to get married. So just as soon as they were able, as soon as it was legal in Florida to get married, they got married. So if you wonder if having the legitimacy of being married matters to gay people, um, I would say yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do, oh, that did not work at all. Hold on. Why didn't that work? Okay, we're going to have to try that again. That did not stick at all. All right. Boop, boop, boop. See, it might get stuck on the other side. Maybe we need to do it while it's closed. Right, so that when the force of the pressure of opening the book happens, it doesn't um, it doesn't pull it apart. Now there'll be a gap then when we open the book, right? But the book will be open, so we won't know it, except when 
I show you. Okay, I'm gonna have to give this stuff a couple minutes to dry. I'm gonna paint on my snowman, doodle this front, maybe some make, make some more stuff, and I will be back. So last night I colored the snowman. So I took this, it's a little kid's drawing, which is perfect for me. Oh, I kind of feel like he needs an arm now. Gosh darn it. Okay, so let's make it like, kind of like my inside stuff. We'll make this. Choop. Well, I feel like his arm's fat, but that's okay. We'll just give him some. And then we'll make his other arm go off this side. There we go. So he has arms. And what I need to do now is go back around because I painted in here. So I need to go back around this and just fill in those black lines again. I hardly ever show you this part because I feel a little like Bob Ross. You just go in and then you go around the lines again. Okay, and I am not patient enough to be this kind of artist because I um, keep putting my hands through. All right, we have brown. I kind of want my tree arms to be brown, so we're gonna paint those in. Oh good, we're getting shading because I didn't wait long enough and it, the black is still wet. Okay. So that can be drying here for a minute. On Diane's background, it's taken me two times each time. Uh, okay, I really want to outline a little bit the top of his hat because I feel like that was getting lost. And then there's a transition here where it goes from the front of his hat to the back of his hat. Okay, oakly doakly. Um, on him, I don't think I want to, well, maybe I do want to highlight his tummy. I think I'm making the decision to highlight his tummy. There we go. Oh, I like that better. Oh, now I got brown on there. Oh, for Pete's sake. All right. So, what I did was I printed out three different snowmen. So, this is... Um, the inspiration for this guy. This is the inspiration for the mommy and then the baby. Okay, here we go. So there's the mommy snowman and the kid snowman. All right, let's do this. I don't know that I feel like that is sticking very well. Let's re collage medium this. Now we re-collage medium that and I feel like that's sticking really well. So let's do this. Ah, gosh darn it. That was not effective at all. I just yanked it off of there. All right. And this doesn't have to stick for forever or even stick if it doesn't stick i'll just cut it i'll just pull it off and start over again but i do think there's some stuff we can do to help old i mean i'm asking a lot of a piece of not tape to stick to a book that opens and closes all the time right all right let's see oh you know what we could do so we have this tiny washi tape. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we tape this thing down. A little bit of actual tape may be helpful to hold that down. Now it's washi tape, so it's, it's, it's not gonna be very healthy anyways, but I don't hate that. There we go. And let's go ahead and put this on the other side. I can't find the end. All right. While we're, oh, look, I smudged that. 
So I don't have the luxury of getting upset when my stuff gets messed up because as my husband says, my artwork is just a series of fixing things that I've messed up in the past, which I'm fine with. Well, it's gotta have an end. I just pulled it off. There it is. Okay, so I do want it to cross. Oops. Let's see what we can do here. And maybe I'm just making layers of stuff that won't stick. And the way I know that that can happen is it's happened before. All right, I found a bulldog clip. And then I was digging in here. I think I found another bulldog clip. But anyways, we'll, we'll come back to that. All right, so now let's go back around a couple little places here. Oh, her hat. I just touched that again. Her hat needs a lot of work. And I don't know if you can see down here. I'm actually doing my journal. So sometimes I'm a little more concerned with what you get to see. And today I just want to do this because I have to take Grandma Linda to the labs to get her labs. And she wants a haircut for the holidays. And then I have to go to the store. I have a few more things to pick up for the kids' stockings. And then I have some stuff I want to get for Johnny. And, of course, Emery, my grandbaby. So when I first started doing this kind of thing, I thought, gosh, that doesn't look real. So number one, I, I know I shouldn't, I, I just feel bad to be the one to tell you this. Lady snowmen aren't real either, right? So however she looks is just fine. Right, right. Okay, so now I was using a gray on his... Um, the brim of his hat and I don't feel like it was super effective so we're gonna have to try something else I know kitty do you want to come up and craft um do we want like a light blue do you want to come up and craft with mommy what are you doing now I don't know where she is. That makes me nervous. Because Kitty is derpy, man. She can freak out and knock off half my half the stuff off my table if we're not careful. Where'd you go, sister? Oh, good. <laughs> right? Like a bad penny. She'll turn up again. Okay, while we have the white out, let's fix some of these problems I made. So we had some pink there, we had some white there, we had some black there. Oh, the kid didn't have many problems. We have some brown there, some brown, oh Jesus. What was I having a, a party over there? Okay, so a lot of times, <laughs> Here's to tell you about um, acrylic paint. A lot of times, the first time you use like white to fix a problem that you made, it's not going to help. It just is going to kind of smear whatever paint you got on there already. But um, we'll come back in a minute and fix that. Like I said, a lot of time spent fixing problems I've made. And I kind of feel like a lot of gals that I watch are way more... Um, dignified than my artwork. My artwork is a lot of flailing around. Okay. So this little guy is like my little guy. He's wearing his blue jeans. And I was thinking last night who my peeps are, who my little snow people are. And I think they are going to either Midnight Mass or Sunday Church because they're all dressed up. 
And um, this lady reminds me of the Af So either they're going to church or they're going to the Kentucky Derby. But since it's the winter, I think probably church. Because this lady, those are his little belt loops. This lady reminds me of the African-American ladies who wear their big fancy hats to church, which makes me smile. Now, she has a little tiny bit of a muffin top, um, which, you know, we're not judging. I think right this second I have a little bit of a muffin top, so let's not judge. Well, it wouldn't be a muffin top. It would be a snow top, right? Right. Okay, so there's her. Oh, we got to put his lines in his hat. It's a little bit wet. Don't worry. Don't fret. I'm a professional. <laughs> It'll be okay. I promise. All will be well. Okay, so now I want to make sure that I go all the way around him. Because I feel like there's a little missing dark spots. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go around that. Oh, hold on. Got to get his leg fixed. Oh, it's not his leg. It's his arm. Duh. So let's put some tree parts in his arm. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take a Posca or a pit brush pen, and I'm going to go around doo, 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 just the outside of this because I like to put like a little shadow around him. Okay. I think there's a kitty hair stuck to my brush pen. That is not an unusual situation. All right. Get around down here, around his bottom tummy. Did we paint anything just a second ago? Probably. It will be all right. I promise you. Okay, now we got to outline our, our lady, our mommy, and the baby. I like to think of it as a baby because my son's a teenager. He's doing better. He, he had a little, little bit of a rough patch in eighth grade there for a minute. But he's turning it around. I wouldn't go back to eighth grade for all the shekels in the world. All right. So, things you guys worry about. So, when I made this book... You might have worried that the branding, the Ranger Ink branding, was on that bottom corner. And I don't worry about that because I know eventually I would probably put something on it. Right? So there's no sense in fretting about things, especially with collage the way I do it and the way you might do it. Because we have layer upon layer upon layer. So at any point, um, you're going to cover up some stuff with the layers. So we got to let this dry. I know. Interesting idea. So we are going to make something like this. We're going to take a paper clip. I wish I had littler paper clips, but I don't know where my littler paper clips are. And I have like 10 minutes to do this. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, we got little keys. Oh, how about a baby key? This looks like this might have come from China. Oh, there's a baby key. Yay, us. All right, what's that? That's from a vintage thing. We got some keys. Oh, there's a big bell. Let's do a big bell and a little bell. Maybe two little. Oh, we could do a big red bell and two little white bells. We're going to make some paper clips. Making some paper clips. To dangle. Oh, there's a little. Oh, it's already on here. Oh, that's a Tim Holtz paper clip. Okay, look, there's another big paper clip. I don't know why I have so many big paper clips. Oh, you know what? I have little paper clips somewhere else. There's a button. We have some buttons we can use. 
All right, let's just take some stuff out and see what we can see. Oh, those are little flowers. There's a Brad. We could always use a Brad. Oh, there's the other bulldog clip I seen. So we'll use that. Do we want a little flower maybe? Oh, that's a cute flower. Okay, so this is about all I want from this little pouch of stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna come back. Those are just findings like, oh, there's another flower. But it doesn't have a thing. I need a flower with a thing already. Okay, this is what we need. So the thing I like about this little container is it has a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe we use a safety pin. I got more bulldog clips. I got hangy dangly things. Maybe we do one of those. Oh, I bet you I have a little safety pin in here. Hold on, because I made them look old. Uh, oh, there's one. There's a safety pin or safety pin. No, what are they called? You you remind me. Up oh, two. Okay, so that's good. That's all we need right this second. I feel like. Oh, look, I have a little Loch Ness Monster. I know you're probably jelly. Okay, so now, oh gosh darn it, I forgot to put those away. I forgot to put this away. I forgot to put these girls away. You know, the struggle is real. Okay, now we wanna find some baubles. So these are all from old jewelry. So we want to find, oh, is that a little Sandy Claus? There's a little Sandy Claus. Look at that. Perfect. And here is a little wreath that doesn't have anything. Oh, and a, why do I have so many of these Christmassy ones? That's exciting. Is there another one? A little Smouse. Oh, I must have, I must have thought ahead. There's another one. There's another one. These ones, oh, these ones need a thing in them. That's okay, we have things. I thought I had some Christmas ones. Oh, this is so darn exciting. That's an old, old Christmas one. I'm not using that on this. This is an old fashioned Christmas one. Ooh, there's a red bobble. That's a good one. Okay, so we have some red bobbles. Some, now I could use a green something. We could use a white one, huh? We'll put a white one in there. What is that? That's a tiny frog. We do not need a tiny, oh, there's a green one. Oh, that one has a thing on it. Oh, that's fun. Okay. All right. I think that's enough. We're gonna start with that. Yay. I thought I had gotten some Christmassy stuff last year, if not this year. Okay, so this one is whole, right? Like this one came already. So we need our pliers. Okay, so what you need is two pairs of needle nose pliers because you're gonna use them with your jump rings. Those are index clips. Now we need jump rings. All right. So we are gonna, oh, we need our book back why we can't have nice things people all right so I need this one to be on one that's long enough that it can hang down so I think that one will work on there and this is gold so let's try to get at least close to gold and you hold your jump ring like this I should go get my glasses and you hold your jump ring like this and you just open it to open it wide enough to get it through this thing oh we have two right there that's right remember i i did it i um accidentally did it wrong <laughs> there's a shock we're gonna hook this on here and i got that box of stuff numerous places so if you're having dangle jealousy about my box of stuff that is from going to antique, um, like really cheap antique uh, auctions. 
and buying lots of lots, L-O-T-S, a lot, just like a group of things you can buy. And uh, where's that one that doesn't have, we're gonna have to put a jump ring on him. Ooh, should we use this cute little jump ring with him? Let's do that, because he doesn't have, I don't know about him. Let's put a real jump ring on him. There is no way this little bobble's gonna stay the right way up in it all the time, but that's okay. It's just a concept. Ooh, these are quality jump rings. When you, when you buy quality jump rings, I think these are Tim Holtz jump rings, then you have to, um, you have to use your pliers. If you buy cheap jump, jump rings, you can just um, bend them with your hands, but these are good ones. All right, here we go. Put that on a jump ring so we have a chance to use it. And I'm really just using it for the color, right? And it will always be upside down because that bow, we're gonna say that that's right side up. I don't think it is, but I am gonna say it's right. Oh, you know what? We're gonna put this in the bottom of a paper clip. So now we have a little wreath that's super pretty, right? On a paper clip. Now you wanna get your tape out. And let's do, I don't love silver. I'm more of a gold gal. And we are gonna do, get a piece of this wash. Oh, look, it's crinkly washi tape. Okay, that's fine. That'll work. Like it's got that crinkled edge. Ooh, you know what? If that's gonna be happening, then let's get a, I need green. Oh, this will work fine. That's green. I know it's cigars. It won't matter. It's just, I just need the color green. All right, so we want a decent piece of washi tape. We're not going to put... Are we going to put something else on here? Maybe we should put something else on here. Do we want to put a... Well, let's put a charm on here, too. Just to bling it up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So now we have a charm and a wreath. Super cute, right? Now we're going to wrap the paper clip. I have a whole video about how to do this that's less derpy than this way. Okay, and it doesn't really matter how good you're, you are at this, which is one of the reasons why I love this technique because you are just wrapping this around and around and around to make it a little fatter, just so that it looks cute, right? Right, okay, there we go. Where'd our tape go? All right, so this, let's figure out which way's the front. So that's the front. So now we're gonna take this fun piece of uppy downy gold tape and wrap that around and around. Oh, I kind of love that. Look how pretty that is. Okay, now we just need a jump ring to hook it onto one of our things. And as I'm whipping this stuff out, please do not forget that I have collected this stuff over the last like seven years. So it's not like, oh, I went out and bought a thousand things. I just bought a couple things over time. Okay, so now we have that. I feel like this is a good one for this bottom one because it's tiny, right? It's nice and short. Some of my um, paper clips get really, really long. All right, let's get this in here. There we go. We're just going to close that up. And this is the kind of thing, you know how I'm always telling you not to worry? This is the kind of thing you totally don't have to worry about because if you don't like what you did, just take it apart. Right? Right. Okay, so let's do a big paper clip and we can... Is this... Do you take the back off? Does it have tape? What is going on with this? Nope. I don't think it has tape, but that seems like a weird backing. 
Okay, no bother. We're going to make a, because we want one that kind of matches our um, thing. So we're going to take a piece of this tape. And we are going to glue the snot out of it. Oops. Okay, having done this before, let's not do this again. I want to make a wicked cute bubble string, maybe. Oh, yes, we're going to do that. Oh, are these uh, just too darn good? Okay, and we're going to put our mousey on here. And then we're going to close this up. Oh, we're going to put one inside of it. I think that's silver. Crap. And then we're going to close this up. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to open this one up. If you're looking for jewelry making techniques, um, this that's what this is. I know I'm doing it in a junk journal. Is that going to be long enough to... Oh, I feel like those two guys are cute together. All right, where can we put them? I don't need a Oh, how about right there? But I feel like I want them to be further apart. I don't want them to be... Let's put this on here. Paper clips are the best because you can totally use both ends of a paper clip. Let's go ahead and run this guy around. And these don't match, right? Like one is a shiny gold thing. I could put this, run this shiny gold. Let's do that. So. So this we just want to get around to the bottom, which will go. Oh, well, maybe not. Am I lying to you? I lied to you. Thought I could get that one to go, but it wouldn't. Let's see. Can we put this on here? Oh, we can totally put that on here. Hoo-hoo, look at that. And then let's put, do we want another kind of... Nope, I don't like that. I'm going to have to jump ring that. But, look, that went on there. That'll be fine. And our paper clip of clothes, or our, what you call it? All right, so now let's put this on here. So I wouldn't have to, since I'm using jump rings, I wouldn't have to worry terribly much about getting these on the um, paper clip before we did them. But it, I just feel like it's always a good idea to... To get your dangles on your paper clip before you tape it up. Is that closed? That's not closed. That's closed. Okay. So now where'd our piece of stuff go? There it is. All right. Let's glue the snot out of this. Get a good on the end. And it's going to glue to itself. So we're not trying to get it to hold on to nothing, which mostly the paper clip is. But as you roll it round and round and round, it's going to hook on to itself. Right, right. Okay, so let's go kind of down to one end. And it is a little derpy when you start it, but then once you get it started, it'll, it'll start being able to mind itself. Okay, so there we go. All right. And I have had it with you. We are going to start making these things work. So this one, I am going to put a staple in. Can't see the staple. It's tiny stapler. You can't see the staple, but now I don't have to fluff around with it so much. All right, this is really cute. I like this way because he's a little bit more shiny. Okay, so that's cute. Let's get a piece of this um, velvet trim. And I like the bright color. So we just need a tiny piece. And we are gonna do that same thing. Oh, I got way too much crap. We'll do it on another one. 
or we'll throw it away. We do not keep scraps. We're, we're mixed media artists. If we keep every scrap we have, we're just inundated with stuff. All right, there we go. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Okay, do we want anything else on here? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's cute. I think it's cute. I kind of feel like I see a lot of the paper clip, which I don't want. So let's get some of this green. All right, so we got way too much last time, so let's do that again because that is how I roll. All right, we don't want this to look like a paper clip. We want this to look like fancy Sunday go to meeting. Now this time, because it doesn't have anything to sit on, I do think I'll put a little dab of glue on here. A little dab of glue, yeah. All right, this is my front, so I want this to be pretty. It doesn't matter, because it's gonna roll around once I get it on there. All right, there we go. Oh, that looks better. All right, where's our stapler? Oh, much cuter. Look how much better that looks, just with that little bit. Okay, so this, this, this. Jesus, look at this. This is like yards of this stuff, and I'm using this much. That'll last for freaking ever. Holy buckets. Holy buckets. All right, here we go. This is our front. Wrap it around. I was worried I wouldn't have enough to be dazzle, but I got plenty. Oh, that's too long. this to be the front that glue isn't doing nothing so it's good we have a steep one there we go oh, oh that looks amazing okay so I could just put this on with a um, with a clip, but let's go ahead and use this guy. And we'll just put this right on here. There we go. Ooh, look how cute that is. See, I like danglies off my journal. I have one more little one I can make. These guys I'm not so worried about. Those are just kind of the top guys, but I like having dangles off the side. Oh, there's another one. Yay, us. So everyone, oh, we have this thing. Maybe just that, right? Every one of them doesn't have to be this big convoluted mess. Some of them, you can just take a safety pin like this, stick a charm on it, and stick it off the side, right? Like everything doesn't have to be ridiculous. It just adds another little fun extra bit on this side. Do I want... Ooh, I kind of think, for me, well, that tape isn't holding. Okay, so I used the tape to hold the tape, but the tape isn't holding. <laughs> we'll just glue the shit out of this stuff. Okay, we're going to take this off, because I do think I want this on a jump ring rather than sticking in there. But if you didn't have jump rings, then you wouldn't have to. Hi, Kitty. Hi, honey, what are you doing? Yeah, kitty things? Oh, I think we could put, what, honey? Hi. Ouch. Hi, sweetheart. You wanna come up? Yeah, you wanna come up and do the crafting with mommy? I know, it's very exciting. Yeah? Uh-huh. All right, I said I wasn't gonna go crazy pants and I'm getting attacked by kitty here. But, ouch, kitty. Hi, honey. I know. Oh. Please pause for a kitty break. Okay. Kitty is pretty aggressively affectionate. <laughs> like, she's like, no, I need you to pet me right this second. So, 
Let's do this and get a gold jump ring because this is definitely gold. And we're gonna hook this through this end of the uh, safety pin and put this in my Santa section. And when you're getting jump rings, I you might be thinking, why are her jump rings so big um, when you just put little things on them? But a lot of times, especially when you're putting tabs on your notebook, which is what I do with my jump rings, um, you have to span, ouch, stop it, quite a bit. Hi, honey, okay. You see I'm doing something here? Either come up and craft or stop poking me. Yeah, either come up and craft or stop poking mummy. So we got our jump ring in. Now we just got to put our thing back on. There we go. Hold this. And these are called needle nose pliers. If you got to order them online. You can buy those at estate sales for 25 cents. Those. Okay. All right. Oh, those are, that's amazing. That's the look I want on the edge of my journal. I'm going to leave this bulldog, bulldog clip there just in case. All right, we're going to finish this up. Jump rings. I didn't use this. Maybe I will keep this out just until after Christmas, but then it's got to go. Oh, these are cute. I didn't use these. Maybe I'll, oh, and I need a bell. Oh, gosh darn it. We're going to have to make another one. We'll make one more that hangs from the bulldog clip. And the nice thing about this is, say you put a, a tab up here and then it, your uh, jingles would be covering your snowman, but with a bulldog clip, you can just move it, right? So we could put it off to the side and then you can just hook your stuff to there. Okay, let's do one more. Do we want a big one or a little one or this fun one? Oh, look at that fun one. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is just what we need because this will not, oh, and then we won't even have, you're back. Why did you come back? I thought you didn't want mommy hugging you. You need mommy to hug you? Okay, we're gonna do that same thing with this one. Oh, we can hook it just to our bulldog clip. Like that. All right, we're gonna put our dangles on here. So we got a fun red one, white one. Okay, if I put this on, watch this. If I put this one on here, it's gonna hang off in a weird way. So we're just gonna put a, a jump ring on it. And then it'll hang down like a normal thing. I'm serious, when you get used to just like going, oh, I need a jump ring for this. Um, it will just make your stuff look better, right? Instead of looking like weird, like crap is hanging off the side, it will just look like, oh, she meant to do that. So see, now that'll hang straight on our weird ring thing. Ooh, that's very pretty. I like that a lot. So this has, to, there's always gonna be a front and a back. Um, one that has the way that it comes on. I think I want one. Oh, I want this one to be over there. See, now I have two of those and a jingle. Oh, I need a jingle. Let's do a jingle bell on this side. Oh, there we go. Now we have a jingle bell. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Those little jingle bells I had, could can they go on here? Oh yeah. All right, how cute is that? That's freaking adorable. All right, now, so that they don't all fall off, let's, we're gonna do that. Okay, here we go. We're gonna attach this right way up to our bulldog clip. Oh, we can take this off. So always take it off so it's easiest for you to use. 
jump rings go back in the jump ring holder. And yes, I have a giant container where I made fun apothecary labels for all my metal bits because I like the metal bits the best. Jump rings, jump rings. There we go. Okay. So now let's take our piece of this and let's glue it. And we're going to put it right here, like this. Yes. Is that you, Grandma Linda? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay. Oh. You're ready? Okay. So we got to put it on our, on our bulldog clip, though. Huh? Oh, I'm just talking to the peeps. Okay. I'll be ready in about five minutes, Mom. Okay. Here we go, and we're gonna just cut, bring this around, bring this around, bring this around. This is gonna be derpy to staple, but that's why this little tiny stapler is so awesome. All right, now we have a little thing up there. Looks cute. I can probably cut off this tail so it doesn't look so dorky, right? All right, perfect. Now, I can hang this anywhere I want, but it's got a little bit of a jingle on it. Look how cute that is. This is my gem, and this is not sticking at all. So see, that isn't sticking at all. So we're going to take a little run of glue up here. That's because it's uh, washi tape, and washi tape isn't necessarily the stickiest stuff in the world to start with. And I'm asking a lot of my stuff, right? Okay, so a last thing I'm going to do, I have two things I'm gonna do, and then I have to take Grandma Linda to the, I was gonna say the vet, but I'm gonna take her to the lab to get her lab work done. She is not going to the vet, I and I have to get Desi up, crap, okay. Might just be easier to. Oh, Grammy Linda's bitching about Desi's hair. She's up. Desi has beautiful long hair. Okay, let's do this. I think this turned out fun, don't you? I got a lot of cool dangles. I'll show you the final final. Don't fret. Oops. Like a drunk sailor over there. Okay, here we go. I was wondering, I probably can't call my video bedazzling because I'm sure it is trademarked. Ooh, that looks cute. See, that just adds enough of a little pop of color. And there aren't too many obvious places where I screwed up the paint. This one does. But that's okay, because I have a magic superpower. I have paint. And I'm going to go right around here. And I have to say, I never understood the girls who use Diane's backgrounds like this. Because uh, she has a whole dialogue that is already made for you. I never understood that, because... I like making backgrounds, but now that I have used this front of her dialogue as my background, I just started plopping stuff on it. Seems like that might be an amazing thing to do. Like have a whole journal where you can just put your stuff in and not have to worry about making backgrounds. That seems a little fun. I have a black journal I'm starting. I have to do that first, but then maybe I'll do a Diane Reevely journal. All right, last but not least. And I erase my goobers. Oh, I'm not done. Give me one sec. Boop. Okay. So I want to get my green pen. 
and just add a little highlights to the paint. And that really makes it fancy. So instead of being so plain and like one dimensional color, it just gives you a little zhuzh, right, in the paint. Ooh, let's do orange and fix his schnozzle. So we're just going to go along the bottom and just change. So it's not one color, right? And this is India ink. These are pit brush pens. Um, they, they don't get, they're not as fussy as paint. So you can kind of use them right away and not have to worry about it. So you want to highlight where things would actually be happening. happening. So kind of along the edge of her sweater I think we can use this to stop it. Go see Desi. Yes, Desi wants to see Kitty. Oh, good. I'm glad we did this because... Lisa, you were missing other Kitty. Now we have this Kitty feeling all bold. And she is just nothing but trouble. Where'd you go? Hi, there she is. So I'm making this yellow like it would be a pair of blue jeans. How cute is that? You know how there's that yellow stitching along the side of blue jeans? I just think that's adorable. Stop it. All right, so now we're just gonna highlight the edge of his hat and we are done okay I will do a final show you the stuff it will be fun okay so Santa Claus uh, made it look like it was a real little book binding with some Tim Holtz tape and Tim Holtz stuff Mrs. Claus with her Sunday hat, some Tim Holtz um, word tape, the boy snowman with his blue jeans on. I just think this front came out really cute. Then we have this bulldog clip with the jingles on it. We have this uh, safety pin and an extra gem on there. We have this they came like this. This is really cheap. That's a uh, costume jewelry. Oh, we made this one that's so fun. That's green and red with the mousies on each end. And then last but not least, we have this one with the wreath and the vintage bobble. So that is my journal for this year. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.